Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostrzewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smartyrl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smartyrl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM. Determine which of the following statements regarding asset liability management techniques is true. A. Reddington immunization requires that the convexity of the liabilities is greater than the convexity of the assets. B. An advantage of the Reddington immunization technique over the cash flow matching technique is that the portfolio manager has more investment choices available. C. Both Reddington immunization and full immunization are based on the assumption that the yield curve has higher yields for longer term investments. D. A fully immunized portfolio ensures that the present value of assets will exceed the present value of liabilities uh, with non-parallel shifts in uh, the yield curve. E. Um, a cash flow matched portfolio requires less rebalancing than a Reddington immunized portfolio, but more rebalancing than, than a fully immunized portfolio. So you might be confused about the exact meaning of those concepts. Uh, Reddington immunization refers to a situation where you set the um, present value and duration of assets and liabilities equal to each other. But you have greater convexity of the assets than that of liabilities. While well, full immunization is such uh, uh, portfolio of assets composition that they exceed in value of that of the value of the liabilities and while they're right now they're equal but if there are any changes the value of, as of uh, assets does exceeds the value of liabilities or at least doesn't fall below them a. a Reddington immunization requires that the convexity of the liabilities is greater than the convexity of the assets. Well, this is not true. The convexity of the assets should be greater than the convexity of li the liabilities in the concept of Reddington immunization. B. An advantage of the Reddington immunization technique over the cash flow matching technique is that the portfolio manager has more investment choices available. And this is true. Cash flow matching investment choices form a subset of investment choices providing immunization. Because um, um, the cash flow matching portfolio will simply um, have assets that pay exactly the same instead of uh, as, uh, the liabilities pay um, and that portfolio with the caveat that uh, the convexity will be equal to that of liabilities because they make the same payments but that portfolio meets the conditions of the Reddington process. So C says that both Reddington immunization and full immunization are based on the assumption that the yield curve has higher yields for longer term investments and I should have put this after the statement but uh, C is not true a uh, flat yield curve is assumed in Reddington immunization and D says um, a fully immunized portfolio ensures that the present value of assets will exceed the present value of liabilities with non-parallel shifts in the yield curve um, so the Immunization technique generally refers to the situation where you consider only one interest rate or flat yield, cur uh, yield curve. So this is not true because there is no such assurance for non-parallel shifts in the yield curve. And E says that uh, a cash flow matched portfolio requires less rebalancing than a Reddington immunized portfolio, but more rebalancing than a fully immunized portfolio. Well, this is not true. A cash flow matched portfolio is fully immunized and does not 
uh, require uh, any rebalancing? So the answer is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.